Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This guy's been asked for loads in the comments. He seems to be a really, really popular singer in Brazil. I've never heard him before. It's Gustavo Lima. Wow, that's a lot of people. Não fale mais o meu nome, não me telefone, por favor, não pergunte por mim. Yeah, what's that? Você me esquece e some se eu te ver de Where novo. Where is he? This is the coolest cara, place ever. Finjo que não vi, mas eu não vou mentir. Tá doendo lá no fundo, sem você eu não consigo mais dormir. Vamos fazer assim, melhor não. You know what? He has such an easy listening voice and I think people often um, mistake easy listening voices for not good singers. But in fact, uh, you know, you can be dramatic with your voice and he did start with a great little kind of growly punch at the start. But you have to be so controlled, so in control of your breath support, so in control of your resonance to be able to sing that easily and beautifully is really, really flawless singing. There's nothing, it like, you know, it's pitch perfect. And by the way, this set is absolutely amazing. I can't believe this. This is uh, incredible. I've never seen a gig set up like that before. <laughs> it's high as well. This is actually super hard to sing. He's constantly on A's, so this is above most men's break. His mix is just so solid. He's obviously a really solid tenor, but the ease at which he's singing that in, um, you know, that doesn't come easily for most people. And that kind of shows he has worked really, really hard on his vocals. Like everyone has to work hard on, on getting that sort of singing. But to be able just to be able to like wander around, like when you hear epic power metal, often it's on the same note as that, but it doesn't have the same ease. And that's not a bad thing. That's just a different style. But uh, it's just as impressive to be able to sing it in this like, yeah, I'm just, this is easy peasy, whatever. Vamos fazer assim, melhor não me procurar, porque eu morro de medo de te perdoar. That's not just normal, but yeah. Eu tô falando mal de você, yeah. It could sound squeaky and horrible. It, he must be so relaxed he has so much control he's just allowing all those notes to go to where they go to most people feel like when you sing that high this is why it's um difficult for most people it's so connected to our emotions the only time in our lives that we're um that high really is in an emotional situation or you know if you're screaming or something like that he is then taking the anatomy the same shapes that you make in an emotional situation and then changing the emotion completely which is actually really difficult you have to kind of detach your voice from its emotional context and then add a new one in um so that you can remain that relaxed now 
great singers can do that and that's a lot of what I teach people to be able to kind of step back from the emotional context and then put a new one on or put the, the same one back but with out the the physical um response to that emotion Like, don't let his, like, you know, suave, chill persona fool you. Like, this is hard, hard singing, and he is just going there and making it look so easy, and that's a sign of someone who really has great technique, when it's just easy. That, you know, I think a lot of people wouldn't realize how difficult this singing is. Very cool. I see why he's popular. <laughs> this guy is a great singer. I totally get why he's popular. The ability to have fun while doing these highly technical types of singing is fantastic. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Do 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 do